Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this one, we're going to talk about something that pretty much everybody has run into at one time or another, including myself. In fact, it's something that I still run into today, and that is not getting a sharp photo. So in this one, I'm gonna give you some tips on how you can combat that and hopefully allow you to get an extremely sharp photo every single time you go out and take some photos. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Now, all the tips that I am going to talk about pretty much relate to each other. So you're going to need to find a combination of them all that works well with what you're shooting and the look you are trying to go for. Our first tip is going to be shooting with a high shutter speed. And what this will do is it'll combat a lot of the movement that will come directly from the camera and just you naturally holding it. Now, going to the holding the camera part, there is a wrong way to hold the camera. And generally, you do want to have two points of contact on the camera. So you want to use both your hands because that will allow you to steady the camera as you use it. Now, the reason why you want a faster shutter speed as well is simply because it will reduce a lot of that motion that you would naturally get from holding the camera. Now, for example, every time you go and hit the shutter button, believe it or not, that downward motion does exactly that. It causes some motion. And that leads me to my next tip, which is going to be shooting at a burst or shooting more than one photo back to back. Because as you depress that shutter button, you've already created that movement. But if you have the camera on a burst, that second shot is going to be much sharper than your first because it's going to take that picture essentially right after that motion was already made. So that is actually something that I highly recommend doing. And it could get annoying though because you have like duplicates of photos later. However, you will notice there is a difference in sharpness from that first one to the second photo. Now the next tip is going to be shooting at a low ISO whenever possible. Now we've covered this in a few other videos, however what the ISO essentially does is digitally enhance the overall exposure of the image. So the lower your ISO is going to be, the better because the higher it is, basically what happens is a lot of noise and grain is then transferred into your image because your camera's digitally enhancing that ambient light. So the lower that that is, it will create a much sharper image, thus getting rid of all that grain and noise. Now our final tip is going to be aperture. This one is really, really important because it can affect your image in a very big way. Now, a lot of lenses will have an f-stop range. So, for example, this lens that I'm shooting on, it goes down to an f1.4, which lets in a lot of light to the lens. However, it also creates a much shallower depth of field, creating that bogey that a lot of people like. However, on the flip side, because it's creating a lot of that bokeh and that shallow depth, you are also going to have a shallow depth, for example, if you're shooting portraits. Now what that translates to is, if you focus on their eye, chances are even if they move a little bit, guess what? That plane of focus is going to be so shallow that even if you focused right here and they move, guess what? That plane of focus is going to move as well and your image isn't going to be as sharp. Now, another thing that you might not have known is with lenses, they have what's called a sweet spot. And for the majority of the lenses, they're definitely not as sharp wide open, for example, on this one. It is much sharper at an f3.5 than it is at an f1.4. So something to keep in mind the next time you are shooting photos is play around and I actually recommend even doing tests with your lenses so you know what they're fully capable of before you go out and shoot. And guys, that is going to wrap up this video here. Trust me, if you put these things into practice, you will definitely get a sharper shot than what you've been doing. It makes all the difference in the world and really helps enhance your photos overall without having to use any substitutions later on in post-production. So keep these in mind, apply it the next time you go out and shoot. And as always, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you all in the next one.